You're now ready to start an assessment. So click on the little pen, Starting Assessments, and you see your four perspectives. We'll start with the customers area. And whilst there may be 12 indicators within each perspective, only three will show it at each time, so that it's not a crowded screen. You can see that you've got the management indicator here of products and services, the target, and, if you click over the little question mark, some guidance on reaching the target. You score through green, amber or red. And the guidance beside each button gives you the goal for effective and improving, reasonable but needs improvement, or problem area where improvement is a priority. Also, in each area or each indicator are notes where you can add notes about the organization, your strengths, improvements. This means that you never lose the knowledge within your organization. Even if people come and go, you retain the knowledge. And you can set tasks for each indicator. Here you see that a task has been set to map the product sales against customer types. And the target date has been given. And the responsibility has been assigned. And the system will send an email to the person that has that responsibility, the user, if they haven't completed their task within the due date. So let's look at the scoring process. And in this assessment, we're looking first at products and services. And we're saying the target is the products and services offered by the business meets the needs of customers in the target market with unique features. And we can look at that particular guidance. And so we assess now where we think we are. In this case, it's at amber. Clicking on the button, we can change to green. Or we can change through to red. And now we can save that little selection and move on to the next three within the set of 12 indicators. And when you've completed, then move into business management and move through the indicators on that area and so on into operations management and people. When you've completed your indicators, you'll be able to call up a summary for each of those particular indicators and see where you stand, not just at the moment, but if you've been doing a number of assessments, then the history. And this little pie chart helps you see where your scoring levels lie. At any one time, you can print out your score or your summary. And once you've finished your scoring, you can also click on the percentage score. And you'll see that the system has then calculated as you've been going through, giving yourself a score. And you now need to look and see that there is balance in your organization. So here we can see that there's a little bit of a weakness in the business management as compared to the scores in the other area. But importantly, it's a pretty poor score really on customers at around about two-thirds of what's available. And if customers are your lifeblood, then that's an area where you need, do need to improve. And of course, you can have a number of reports for your assessment. And you've now completed step three.